Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Li at Blue Heron Arts Home Studio. I just come back from a class um, on painting shrimps. Uh, this demo was done in the classroom. Uh, just uh, showed some strokes on a piece of napkin. napkin. So I'm going to flatten it right now. The material we use is a uh, silicone, silicone adhesive film and uh, a piece of uh, mixed media paper. I mount the silicone on the backing paper first. Just like this, uh, set the iron on silk. Okay, usually the lowest setting on your iron should be fine. It might be lining, not the lowest, but I, I just put on silk. And uh, activate the adhesive film and uh, let it cool down a minute. And uh, you can trim the, the paper first, but uh, I will just do it afterwards. So there's uh, some extra margin. It will be cut off. Uh, you can just leave it here. You know, it, will be, it will be hidden behind the mat. Right? Now it's cooled a little bit so I can lift it like this. This is a uh, release paper. Uh, comes with the silicone film. Now it leaves a, a film on the surface of this backing paper. It's uh, the uh, adhesive. And you need to iron again to reactivate that. So I put the, this on. You can uh, spray a little water if you want to uh, make sure the, the wrinkle is uh, relaxed. So I use the mortar sprayer. And he here's the process. I need to hold the paper on the floor, in, not in the, in the mounting area, because uh, you don't want any moisture to uh, affect the paper. To, otherwise, you'll get a whirlpool. So we just uh, uh, spray outside the mounting area, and then put this back, align it with the silicone behind. This is a little bit challenge because the, the napkin is very fragile, looks like. So I may still have some wrinkle in the end, but it will be flattened. And the, the wrinkle hopefully will just add uh, more texture to it, like a wave of water. So you, you can start from the center. So going up outward in a circular movement. You can go back and forth. And then uh, I will do diagonal strokes towards the, the corners and then the center. The principle is to drive the air outward so you don't trap any bubble inside, right? Just like uh, you would do with wet mounting, the same the brush and uh, paste. So you start from the center out. Because the painting was uh, uh, moisturized a little bit, it takes a little longer. Usually it takes less than a minute, but if it's uh, too wet, it will take too long. So you don't want to spread too much water. Just to, or you can iron the, the painting first without using the silicone, just to flatten it. That's the uh, advice. If, uh, the, paper, the, the painting is folded like this. I just want to show you an extreme example here. So it's not that difficult to flatten it, even with so much wrinkles. See? And I wanted to show you, this is a, still a, a napkin, right? But uh, this napkin has the two, two layers, I just realized. It's like a double shrine. So <laughs> we can steal one and then you can but sometimes if you if you are skillful enough you can take it one off but i just leave it I just let you know the double shrine may also have this this uh, um, possibility that you some some uh monkey shop can steal your painting like this <laughs> let me just show you it's not a difficult oh, but you <coughs> you can see that the back layer is not really not really <laughs> complete, so I better hold it. Excuse me. I don't know what's the solution to 
to fix this. But anyway, it, if it's a um, regular rice paper, this is done. It's flattened, perfectly flattened. Yeah, I mean, uh, the color or ink uh, shows off just like uh, you just uh, paint it before it dries, right? So that's the, just for the reason to take a picture, that's good enough. I will figure out how to fix that two layers. I don't think uh, we can match it with another silicone. Maybe you have to, to just get rid of the backing, get rid of the, the second layer, just use the front. And that would be a simple uh, solution. You just uh, take the front out and then re redo it. I think that um, since this is only a practice, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Or oh, the best thing for this is you can still paint on it because the silicone does not block the absorbency. So it's, it's like a, a pre-mounted uh, artboard or shikishi, Japanese artboard. You can still uh, a regular paper. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about Chinese brush painting, you can still uh, join my class. Uh, live or by recording. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description. Happy painting! Bye! Okay. Now um, I will continue to finish this uh, mounting. I added a few uh, strokes and details to uh, um, fix the incomplete uh, demo strokes in, uh, to make it into a basin or a pile of uh, shrimps. And now I'm going to see if I can separate it from the... I think we got some glue or something on the... in some area because the, the glue I used they do have some stickiness. So there's a certain spot here I need to be careful. Okay, I got it. I think we got the three layers actually but I, I will see if... Uh, so we got three paintings instead of two. That's a, a surprise. Just se separate all that. Uh, I think each uh, napkin I have different uh, different layers. I didn't have this problem before. It used to come in two layers. Okay, so now we have three. Let's see how it goes. So this is the middle one. I don't think we can use that. So I just use this side of the the backing paper, let's see what happens. And this time I try to cover the whole thing, including the, the margin. The napkin is not a ideal paper for painting. You could get the uh, unsized or uh, raw shrun or rice paper. If you <coughs> peel it uh, with the uh, paper still hot, you cannot uh, separate them. It, it, you will produce some stickiness. So just let it cool down a few seconds. And let's see how this painting looks like. It's still wet, I think. It's still wet. And you can patch the bottom part. So I use this, the, the middle layer. It's not complete. It is still painted on it, I think. But it becomes too, too thin. Maybe just put this on. The intensity of the color reduced, but it uh, makes the shrimp look more translucent. You don't need to spray any water, just straight dry mounting. And uh, with the backing, the, the ink will just need the, the ink will produce uh, will, will be more vibrant. So the light ink is from uh, peeling off the extra layers in this case not from the original uh, palette, right? But it looks so nice. The, the ink itself is so charming. So that's uh, a nice uh, lesson, I think. So you get either a failed painting or a good lesson. I hope this is a good lesson. By the way, I uh, lost the demo I did in the class with the, uh, the fish lure or the, the bite, the, uh, Plastic fish, the uh, yeah, bait shrimp one. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you took a picture in the class, I forgot to take a picture either. Uh, so you can maybe send me a copy and I'll forward to the uh, students online. Appreciate that.
And uh, so far, this is the uh, only demo I had from the class. And I do have another painting I, uh, practice I did last night, similar to the one I uh, did uh, today in the class. I will send you that one as well. And uh, happy practicing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you next week.